Is it really, really so extremely difficult to persuade people that uh, climate, which is average weather, not weather, but average right, right, weather, right. that climate can have three contributions that add to each other, to one another, that is, uh, some cyclical effects, mm -hmm. some uh, random noise, and a secular rising, steadily rising trend right. from anthropogenic right. activity, uh, uh, sorry, from uh, uh, anthropic activity, yeah, yeah. human activity. Um, is it really impossible to tell people that you have the sum of these three terms? And it that if it's a very cold day today, it doesn't mean we'd have uh, on the average, some warming? I spent 20 years focused on the, the basic physics and uh, sort of geoscience of this. Yeah. And the last. But this isn't even science. It's no, 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 no. But ordinary arithmetic. No, no, but I spent the last five or six yeah. years focused on the social science. Yeah. How we perceive uh, problems. Yeah. How we respond or don't. Yeah. yeah. And, this, and global warming is like the world's worst problem in that sense. It's. Um, it has all the elements that make it the kind of thing we don't, as a public or as individuals, really uh, Can people on. really not grasp this trivially simple idea that you have the sum of these three terms? I asked Ralph Cicerone... That and if we wait until the uh, secular yeah. term, right. from uh, the, the anthropogenic term, right. gets really, really big so it drowns out the other two, it's too late to do anything. I know. Is that hard to explain? Is that really so hard to explain? The piece that I wrote today on that, on my blog is yeah. exactly on this point. And again, the social science is very discouraging. They, um, I mean, there are many examples um, of a, a problem that's sort of looming in plain sight with a kind of a, a brooding, a trajectory, the housing bubble, <laughs> you know. And then we, and then it happens, and we say, "How did that happen?" And and. It's, there's so many aspects of our um, how human beings as an organism uh, integrate information and then sort it. We, we have this sort of filters, and some of us have very different filters than others. Uh, this is, gets at this... this no, but it, it, isn't it just an arithmetic problem? Just the idea that you're taking the sum of three terms and they behave differently? I mean, yes. if, you, if you're used to gra graphs, you can appreciate it right. immediately. Right, I know, I know. I well, mean, the, uh, is I, it that hard to introduce the public to the notion of a graph? No, not no. Again, the numbers are there, and and they can be displayed in many vivid ways. But uh, M Michael Spector, who gave that talk yesterday, yes, on his book Denialism, yeah, was largely about this body of research that shows um, that in many ways information doesn't matter. That it, there's no aha moment. It's like with the IPCC, you know, for four times over 20 years that come out with reports that progressively have built this body of Always very conservative. Oh, yeah, and, but with a nice solid trajectory yes. toward more confidence. Yes. And, um, and, and I think to some extent there's an expectation among the scientific community that, well, okay, the fifth one will do it. We'll get over this point where finally people will get it. But then when you really look at it, it doesn't, work, it doesn't seem to work that way. We, we're a species that needs to get the kick in the ass. But um, the thing that I was talking about is not the whole issue. Yeah. Just this trivial point about the sum of the cool, three, warm, the sum yeah. of the three terms, the random fluctuations, the cyclical behavior. Right. Because right. the, the deniers talk about cycles, and they're yeah. right. There are cycles. Yeah, yeah, sure. And there are random terms. Right. And there is also the secular term. Right. And uh, I, I don't understand why why people who are supposed to educate the public cannot get this across. I, I think there's a way around it, personally. What is the way around it? When you look at public attitudes, yes. there's a deep division over global warming. Yes. There's no division at all over energy, energy and innovation. Uh -huh. So if there were a, um, if, if a president or or uh, and or Congress sort of made the push about making the country the um, a hub for energy innovation and efficiency. In other words, as I on the blog, the way I've been writing about this is an energy quest from the uh, light socket in your kitchen yes. to the laboratory to the boardroom, uh, a sustained um, where it's a priority. Where energy has always been kind of the thing you just take out of the wall or get out of the yeah. gas pump.